Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Amanda and I blog over at sunshinevalleywv.com. I love to share about our life lived simply. In today's video, I am sharing how I DIY'd this super simple board and batten in our second bathroom. So you can see here that I had previously started the board and batten on the, in the bathroom and I realized I should record this. So before this video, I put up that top piece of trim that is a one by three and I painted it and I painted the bottom, bottom portion of the wall white. I basically learned that this whole process is a whole lot of measuring and cutting. I also learned that an eighth of an inch on a cut makes a very big difference. So that old saying, measure twice, cut once, it definitely holds true. Okay, so I'm about halfway finished. I have this biggest wall all the way done. And then back behind me, I have this smaller section of the wall that needs done next. I think what I'm gonna do, since I'm totally winging this, is measure from that board there over and just keep going. I'm doing 10 inches apart. But so far, I really like the way it's looking. You can see here that I am just laying the tape measure down, going over 10 inches, making a mark on the wall, and then that is where I put my boards. So 10 inches from each board, I put a mark. I'll also add that since our house is so old, I had to measure every single board for every single cut. Um, maybe if your house is newer, you wouldn't have to go through all of this. Your boards may be all the same height, but since our house is old, nothing is level. Everything is a different height. Okay, I'm getting ready to make the last cut on the last board. And I wanted to show you all how I angle the cut so that it um, lays flush over top of the cord round on the pre-existing uh, baseboard. I didn't want to like cut into the baseboard so they fit in little slots. So I decided to cut them at a 45 degree angle and they will lay right on top. So I guess all all the way over here to 45. See that? Lay my board up against the saw. And uh, if you're doing this with a, like a hand saw or a miter saw, same, pro same process. You do a 45 degree angle. Of course, I'm not going to cut it while I'm holding the phone, but lay it there. Cut this very little end off. And it is the perfect way to angle it so it fits right over top of the baseboard. I used one and a half inch paneling nails to attach the boards to the wall. My husband has an air compressor with an air powered nail gun and that would have been so much easier, but I didn't want to drag the air tank in. So I just used an old hammer and some little paneling nails and this worked out really well. Um, I think if I was doing a very big space, I would definitely use a nail gun, but this works too. That's it guys. Seriously, it's just 
measuring and cutting and leveling. It really was pretty easy. It added a whole lot of character to the room. Now, I haven't painted it yet because I'm kind of torn about painting maybe it a color with the uh, crown molding and everything. So I'm not exactly sure yet. Stay tuned. I didn't paint it yet because I figured I would do a full reveal whenever I finally get this little space finished. So be on the lookout. So that's it from me for today. I hope you guys have had a really great week and I will talk to you soon. As always, thanks so much for stopping by the farmhouse.